Welcome back to Brando's Collectibles. And today's unboxing is the Good Guy Last Chance doll. And I will explain later in the video. And if you haven't liked and subscribed already, make sure you do so. It helps the channel grow. Let's get into this. Everyone has a birthday they'll always remember. Can we open my presents now, Mommy? A good guy! I knew it! <laughs> I, I'm Chucky. He's something, isn't he? This is Andy's. Time for bed, Andy. Good night, baby. Good night, Aunt Maggie. Good night, Chucky. Everyone knows most accidents happen at home. How did that happen? This is no accident. There's nothing innocent about child's play. Thank you for tuning in, and we're going to go over why I call it the good guy last chance doll. But before we go into that, let's go into the shipper box first. And as you can see, there's a little dent right here on the box. I'm going to try to be careful not to hit my Chucky, other Chucky. And see nothing on this part of the shipper box. Everything looks pretty good so far. And I made it to uh, number 10. So there's like nine more out there somewhere. And as we come around on this side, there's a couple little uh, notches right here. Hopefully the contents in, on the inside are okay. So let's get into this. Can't wait to see what he looks like in here. I hope everything's good on here for him. The box ain't messed up, the inner, inner box. Well, we know the um, he's facing so we'll start over so you guys will be the first one to see it all right guys here's the moment of truth to see how the inner box looks like and you guys will be the first one to see it before I do And here he is, you guys. Now let's get the um, outer plastic off. This is going to be a um, not a total unboxing, but a alteration to my box. So I don't really want to take him outside of the box, but we're going to take a close up look at him. But we'll take a look at the. Um, inner box first so the actual box first well so far it looks like I got one dent on the box itself which is too awful bad looking but I'm glad I got him. He's uh, number 10 in the line up. So, there's nine more left. Yeah. Uh, this is the Pacific Hall. And let's see here. I'll take and set him up on my pedestal here to, so we can get a closer look at him okay guys bear with me 
as you can see there's nothing wrong with the box thank goodness good guys he wants you for a best friend and on this side it says he can be anything you want he can even be a fearless fireman a construction worker and then here's the famous mural on this side with his footsteps then on this side he can be a cowboy and then down here a courageous soldier a doctor a superstar baseball player and by the looks of the doll he looks really good all right let's get him out of the box so i can put the lighting in there for him so i can see him on my display but i just don't want to have him out and about really so it was add a little bit of lighting to boost the box up a little bit and you can get a chance to look at him too. If I have to sit him down like I did uh, my Chucky and Tiffany figures. So I'll probably have to get my pedestal out of the way. Okay, now then, let's do this. And I'll tear up the inner box as much as possible. I got him out there guys all right here we go here's what he looks like let's add some lighting yeah I got my lights from Walmart so let's see how we get do this here get my scissors They all love it or hate it, one of yeah. And the other thing is, don't leave a uh, sticky residue on the, to the box. Uh, yeah. guy looks like in here. I knocked everything over. <laughs> okay, Frankenstein, get over here. There we go. I'm going plugging for right now so I can get um, 
come in there and see what it looks like. Hopefully everything will go well with the part of the thing. I had to refigurate where I was going to put my lighting because I thought I could stick it in the box. But instead, we'll put it right here. It should look pretty good. It should uh, work. So stay tuned, guys. Now I do stick him in the box and see what it looks like, guys. It should look pretty sweet. So not to damage the box at all. I'm trying to... I would like to see him in the box and stuff out and about and getting tore up or anything. Uh, need a longer cord. <laughs> and see. Wolf work, wolf work is out. Let's get Mr. Frankenstein out of my way. And then sliding in like I was taking him out. And that'll work just fine. Just change the lighting if you want to and you all good. I'm gonna put him up on my pedestal so you guys can get a kind of a look and see what you guys think of him. I think it's gonna look pretty good guys. I'm gonna put him on my shelf, light him up, and I want I'll be able to see him without it just being a dark, you know, shadow. Alright, give me one second here. Hope I don't knock over my uh other chucky. Get my uh pedestal here okay get AC tour back here and let's see if we get him up here to be viewed And there he is, guys. With light and everything on him. And we do the blanky effect. Yeah, the reason it's the uh, um Last chance, good guy doll, is because that True Tree um, lost their license to make these uh, dolls. And I'm liking mine, so there's nine more left. So if I was you, I'd uh, grab them. And this will be it. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. You can have your very own good guy doll. That's right. You can have all the adventures we have on TV in your very own home. Good guys say three different sentences. We even turn our heads and blink our eyes when you talk to us. Right, Oscar? Hi, I'm Oscar and I'm your friend to the end. Tidy 